Hello and welcome. Today we're at Legoland Windsor and we're about to take a look around their brand new Monster Street for 2022. Now we are at their Brickle Treat, which is their Halloween event for the whole month of October. Now this is actually the Enchanted Forest, which is completely changed from last year and has obviously completely changed the normal walkthrough attraction as well. <laughs> So over the normal season, this is just a place that you can actually walk around. They have actually extended this bit, so where the Monster Street is actually located is all new. That is, they've all they put some tarmac down and they've changed the wood chippings and everything like that. So that is something to have a look at when we get around. So how this works is they let up to five families in at a time. So you do have to join a queue to come in. You have these little photo opportunities here as you walk around. So it's sort of, they funnel you basically around where we first came in and there's that sort of wooden bit right at the start that is where you used to be able to walk all the way around sort of the outside and sort of zigzag through they now funnel you through they've got a little pumpkin patch just here to the right hand side as you can see they put some flags and everything up and there again i did say this last year i think this would look absolutely amazing lit up at night but the park closes at four o'clock during the week so when the clocks change i think the best opportunity for you to see this in its prime would be either a saturday or potentially a sunday depending on what time the park closes you can see the purple and everything in the trees and they have added a load of flags and everything a bit across the top now they've just added in the larger big plastic pumpkins they haven't actually added any lego based bits and pieces here i think we might see some in a second when we join another queue but like i said you can see all of the different lights and everything all pinged up across the trees so this is the, another little queue that you then join and then it just then takes you through to the next process so it is a, it's a nice thing to go and have a look around i'm not too sure if i prefer last year's only because you could just walk around it however this one is a lot more interactive so this one you got a queue for but you get all your goodie bags but this time all the goodie bags are in the same place whereas last time you had to walk around the whole park so it's obviously easy and staffing issues and everything like that i would imagine having it at a set certain time frame because this was actually only open for two hours on the thursday when i went so let us know in the comments below what you think i think it all bunched together looks extremely impressive but i would like to be able just to sort of walk around it a couple of times rather than having to then rejoin another queue but it's obvious the reason why you join a queue because to the right hand side which i will pan round for this is the guy giving out the little goodie bags he was asking everybody for high fives and everything like that and then we come into the monster street where each one of these little cabins which were dotted around the park last year are now obviously in the same location they all have a different character dressed up and they will then just be giving you snacks and sweets out of the windows that are open now i would have liked to have been here slightly longer but there was a poor child heaving his guts up which you might see so I do apologize about that, but it is what it is. But you can see all the people sticking their, sticking their heads out there. And then that is it, that is your um, brick or treat. But you have got the flags where you can just cut through if you didn't want to, um, if you wanted, didn't want to do that bit. So I'm not too sure if you can just walk around it and not join the queue for this bit. I would imagine that's not the case. You would have to join the queue at the start and then it comes back through but you've got some nice photo opportunities again where you can obviously sit down and get your photo taken with all the little cardboard cutouts but this is the main attraction for Legoland Windsor so in the comments below let me know what you think let me know how it compares to last year's video as well I think it makes sense having everything grouped together where it's much easier with regards to staffing issues and everything like that because obviously don't forget we are still coming out of COVID times and the, the, the numbers might not be as massive as what they were last year but I think it might thin out the park a little bit too much but you'll see what i mean when we go around but i would have loved to have seen this at night i do like the fact that they have got all the lights and everything they have made really good effort at this section of the park but guys i am starting to run out of time so if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic hope you've enjoyed the little visit to the new monster street there are plenty of videos to follow this basically from the start to the end of the whole brickle treat event from legoland windsor that will be just found in the lego windsor 2022 playlist but guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.